start today. How dare you call Rat Frigid? I uh, I went to let out the hounds this morning, and you know you get the frost on the uh, mm-hmm. the old back door, the doorknob there. It's, geez, okay, so that's what we're dealing with. That is where you notice it. It's the handles. You're like, ooh, oh, frosty, huh. frosted tips. Uh, but here we are on a on a Wednesday, and it's a it's special occasion, I guess. No, it's we're, not special. we're all here together. Do frosted tips, like if it's gray in your beard, is that? No, that's salt and pepper. That's a little oh, seasoning in there. Okay. That's not yeah, frosted yeah, that's tips. Frosted. That's looking good though. You look like uh, the leader of the wolf pack there. Like follow this guy because they, they the, the main wolf's at the front. They all fan back behind the leader. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, yeah. grizzled bet. Right. That's what it is. It's great to be here though. It looks great. The cords. Way less cords. He said that awesome. before. I don't know. Yeah. That. The uh, big changes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Looks good in here. Um, the background noise. Phenomenal. Now, I don't know. I put a picture in, Jack. I've got a shot there in, in the drive. of. Uh, it's busy here, eh? No, I don't know. I, I feel like Ryan's overreacting. Because I haven't been here in a, in a while. And I'm obviously, talking. you haven't been here in a while. And he's talking about all this construction that's going on outside. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, no, it's guys, it's right outside our door. It's there's a lot going on. You can hear the vacuum trucks. I mean, you get a little, you know, you oh, okay. There, so there it is. So, just if you, for so clarification you, here, um, behind those tarps, so you there, can see the, the Flames Nation logo. Yeah, that's our entrance there. So, um, I guess you weren't exaggerating. I thought you kind of usually you kind of get on a bit of a tangent. You get yeah. okay, Ryan, just settle down. Yeah, Brian Burke drafted under Smith. Yeah, yeah. Like, the settle down, settle down. So yeah, that's um, <laughs> that's direct. That um, those fellas, you know, sometimes you poke fun about standing around a little. Rather have this job than that job today. Yeah, a little chilly yesterday, especially windy too. Oof. One guy helped me cross the street like really? I was an old lady. Held your oh, hand, sir. Yeah, oh, sir, are, are you uh, wanting wanting to cross? Because I was taking the picture. Right. Yeah. Are Are you waiting to cross the road? So, I well, yeah. I'm just gonna go across the road. Okay. Well, if you could just wait, mm. I'll stop traffic, and then there's a place over here where you can cross. They are a little nervous about always taking the photos and the cameras. And we get a window here with just a camera looking yeah. into the the pit. Yeah, let's go. Ahead. We are everything's above board here. We're good. Maybe they're finding treasure down there, and they don't want to turn it in. Maybe <laughs> yeah. dinosaur bones. Some some booty down yeah. there. Some. Oh royal doubloons or something down there could be we should do one of those dumb videos like you, what you put on the pinder report we'll jump off the roof and yeah, land yeah, into yeah. the what do you think's in there on a bike though we got one of those in the pinder report. yeah or, or a two-story a, bike drop that one went hook well. a ladder or do some sort of a <laughs> water slide go right in there it's too cold we for should. above ground pool yeah. so we're gonna need an exotic animal a ladder and like a bike or a skateboard yeah. that's kind of the staple Jack, of the or maybe we should throw things in there tonight when they show up for work tomorrow yeah yeah do I got any kangaroos kicking around? Because just incorporate all of it. Just yeah. get all of the the most the pinder reporting pinder clip report of all stuff time. in yeah. there. Yeah, like a kangaroo on a croc's back in an above ground pool with a ladder nearby, something like that. Yeah. Well, it is. Uh, there's. Uh, you can feel it. The uh, the city is is alive with palpitating. Is with, that with uh, men in their you know middle age the <laughs> midlife crisis? Yeah. Guys are all coming back. To celebrate Mika Kiprasov. Now, is it midlife or a little on the other end? So I'm just thinking in 04, if you were mm-hmm. very young, oh, six would you'd be 20s. And yeah, you're like late 30s is prime Mika. If you were in high school, you're in your 30s. I was talking more of the guys that are coming back for it. Oh, the yeah. I have a lot of this stuff. Yeah, there. it's a lot of the frosted tips. <laughs> the leader of the pack in the beard. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of the frosted tips mm-hmm. going. So, do you have a number? Do you know how many guys? Are expected to be coming back. It's hockey players, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, teammates. I'd I mean, suggest. it's three days away. We can't get too. Yeah, we don't want to put too much pressure on people. I think there's a lot of local. I think there's a lot. I I don't know who's flying in. Yeah, I don't. Well, we know Noodles is coming. He won't be on the show today. He's landing. He's basically in the air, in the air. during the show, so he'll be in. May join us tomorrow in some capacity. Uh, and I mean beyond that, because you start to run through it, there'll be the odd surprise. I think. Yep. Did you I mean, see, did, did there, you there's see, a lot uh, out of towners on that 04 team, if you think about it. Yeah. Some stayed. Like Reggie, obviously, is, he's not going to. I think Borky's coming in. I heard Borky. Rene. I was wondering about some of them. And then I saw a video the other day of Darren McCarty. Yeah. Did you see him signing autographs or something? It was on the weekend. I saw him at week. the Bolarama and he looked like he was washed. And that was when he was playing on the yeah. team. I can't imagine what he looks like 20 years after that. I may be incorrect, but I'm pretty sure I saw a recent, like, seven days recent video 
of him signing autographs with a full red mohawk. So is he he's still wrestling? Maybe wrestling him. He loves his music. He's a bit he's a musician. Yeah, he's, yeah. He's a right. metal head or what? Grinder, yeah. Uh, grinder, grinder, yeah. 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 Uh, well, we're going to do a show today without uh, Jamie McClendon, but we got a game to talk about. Yeah, there was a game last night. You were you were there. Was oh yeah, what I was moaning about? You hadn't been to many games. I'm like, all right. Well, we're doing a Valentine's uh, postponed, so we did dinner and then the game, and a uh, little tepid start, but pretty darn good for the second half there. We'll get into the opening statements for McLeod Law. You know Peter Klein at McLeod Law. He is the personal injury guy. He's also the go-to guy in Calgary for your disability insurance claims. If that long-term, if that insurance company is giving you the runaround, you call Peter, you get him working for you, and he'll get you those benefits that you paid for and that you deserve. And, of course, with that, some peace of mind. Mm. McLeod-Law.com. Get into the opening statements. Flames have won four straight. A 4-2 victory over the LA Kings. Uh, did afterburner last night with Ken and one of the questions. So what, what are the Kings? Cause you, we watch the flames all the time. Kings are ahead of them in standing. We know that they're wild card at the start of the year. They had a great run or they, they could maybe win this division. I don't know exactly what they are. They seem to be missing stars, which is weird. Cause I, I you know, to, to think that Fiala and Kempe aren't leading this team in scoring is odd. I mean, Dowdy and, and Kopitar are still good, but they're certainly not near the stars that brought cups back. <laughs> Byfield's almost there, but isn't quite yet. You can see the tools. Like, it, I don't know. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. like it's, they're very deep. They've had their but, young picks, though, or their high end picks. Yeah. And like Blake Coleman would lead them in scoring. We talked about it yesterday. Like, that's probably a bit of an issue for the Kings that they don't have three or four guys in the 30 goal mark. It'd be a surprising given. Yeah. Kempe not playing. Yeah. He got hurt in, uh, in Edmonton. Uh, but I don't know as a, I'm guessing. They play in Edmonton, they lose, they shake up the lines. Kempe comes out, so hurt. Yeah. They're going to get twice, two in as many Brent nights. Brent Clark's had both those games. He played six in a row and did, did not play in Alberta. I'm guessing that's probably not indicative of what the, the Kings actually are. But with, with that goaltending, yeah. and if it's a, you know, somewhat of a something that resembles what we saw last night, I don't know that that's a team that's going to make a ton of noise. Well, they've already had to can a coach because yeah. the team isn't yeah. good enough. Right, there's no way that the plan was to get rid of the coach midway through the year. So yeah. they they aren't achieving. Yeah, if Pierre Luc Dubois wants to be one of their best players, I think they could be good. But um, I didn't see that last night. He does have the ability, though. Like, yep. if, if you want to argue it, yep. If they get in the playoffs and he goes, oh, this I'm is exciting have two and weeks. fun, and I'm going to go because that that one against Toronto, he was awesome. Mm. That playoff series, yeah, like, when he was in Columbus, in Columbus, yeah. okay. Yeah. He does have the skill set, size, ability to go make a difference. Like, you look how they line up down the middle, and I think it's a deep blue line. I don't know what Mikey Anderson's status is, but if he's back, like, that's a pretty good blue line. Um, you're going to be able to create headaches defensively for clubs if you get the goaltending. Because if you can go Dano, Kopitar, and Dubois in any order down the middle, and Byfield is a center still just playing the wing, biting time. Like, that, that's a team that structurally could give you fits. I just, where's the top end? That's mm -hmm. what I was looking at last. I'm like, where's the game breaker? Well, for they might guys? not have the top end yeah. yet. Wow, but they should. They should. Dubois should be a top end. Yeah, and Kempe should be too, is hurt. And Fiala's goal total is not where it should be. And, you know, Dowdy still, no one would be surprised if he ripped it up for a bit. Um, but again, they're going to have to go play a Vegas, Vancouver, or Edmonton type team in round one or, or a Colorado, Dallas, Winnipeg. And, like, and that's if you don't have a tough. goaltender, you're not. I know. I was thinking. And I was thinking about that last night because we've talked about it where Rob Blake is at his contract status. You've made the coaching change. I don't know what I would do if I'm Rob Blake. If I'm watching that team, well, we need a little bit of everything. We're not probably not good enough in you, net. Sorry, but yeah. he has to understand where he is with that organization too, right? Like there's a long history of Rob Blake and the Kings. Yeah. Is he that ingrained where he's not worried about it being his last year? Or is he the typical GM where it's like, well, I might as well go for it. I think it's contracts coming to an end, and there's a lot of pressure. The indication of that would be that they fired a coach in a season where they went 17 in a row on the road without losing or something like that. Like, tension's high there. The, the seats are hot. Otherwise, I don't know that he does that. Like, we, we all think Todd McClellan's a good coach. Yeah. I feel like uh, there's pressure there. Now, does that mean he's gunned if something bad happens? Not necessarily. 
But I mean, if, more, if does a, he feel the pressure that he doesn't think he's going to? I think he does to save his job. I there think there are does. save your job trades that happen. Yeah, and they aren't. It's not a sewer the organization, but there are save your job trades mm -hmm. that happen. And I wonder if he's in that situation. He's coming up on year seven. This is his seventh season as the GM. At the end of the year, that'll they be seven haven't won a series. Seasons. No, they lost twice to is Edmonton. That right, it's seven years. Yeah, he oh, took cow. over in 2017 uh, at the age of 47. From Dean Lombardi, I'm guessing. I'm right? guessing, yeah. yeah. And 2017 was kind of the ashes of those Sutter teams where they yeah. were still paying Dustin Brown, who'd come back a little. And How was your buddy Dustin Brown? Dustin Brown's great. great I believe Dustin well, Brown. Just great. Yeah. Is he so Buffalo guy? Is he from Buffalo? That area. He's a Canadian guy, you know? Or is he, you know, like American? You guys, I think that we should get him on so that you guys can absolutely yeah. berate him okay. for berate being him. an Jeez. idiot. Yeah, and moving to, to Buffalo. Buffalo. Moving to Buffalo. Because, I mean, we know what your feelings are right. about people that do that. Where's Brown from? Well, I'm, I'm looking right it up. It's a bit of a dark. He's an American. I feel like he's an American. Oh, he's American. But where did sure. he play uh, Ithaca? Oh, Ithaca. It, it, Ithaca, New York. Dunk. Now, yeah, does drink. Ithaca not have a post-secondary institution of notoriety? I think it's a big school there. Ithaca. No? Ithaca. Us scholastic types. Have they been to Barcelona? Barcelona. Um, so I would say this. If, anyway. if, if that was a GM in his second year with that organization and he knew he had a lot of runway, I would chill and say all our goalies are up this summer, Copley, Riddick, and uh, Talbot. Talbot. And I'd go make a push for Markstrom because if I can secure number one goaltending, get the Flames to eat a little, have like four to five million bucks on payroll for a goalie. Anyway. Uh, but I don't think they can wait. Yeah. Like, like I think it's a, it, to Rhett's point, it might be panic mode for the GM. Let's talk about the flames. Okay. Uh, instead, we got kind of down a bit of a rabbit hole. The thing about the Kings coming is they clog you up. They're so good in the middle of the ice. It's hard to get anything going against them. And, and that's, that was the case. I thought that the flames were as good as the Kings were. Now, again, I don't know what the talent level or how good they were last night, but they had given up five shots to LA through the halfway point of the hockey game. Now mm. four goals go in at both ends before the second period's over, but there was nothing happening Yeah, through the first three shots. The first minutes. fifth shot goes in. Yeah. And that was kind of like, Oh boy, is it going to be one of those kind of nights? Like flames have had most of the puck, most of the plays in the other end. And then, eh. but they immediately respond and okay, now we got a game. Yeah. It just didn't look like this was a team that was out going to outclass the flames. They look very comfy in that game. We're going to be able to hold our own. Yeah. There was no reason to think that they were second and two nights for them. And maybe if Dubois is great and Kempe is there, they look different. But no, that looked absolutely like a wild card team. Yeah. Flames keep winning. Yeah, don't Four in a row. I can't figure it out. Can't do it. It's Cornell that's in Ithaca. Other than I've been saying field. all in, along in they're going to make the uh, playoffs. Is that what he's been saying all along? Even when they make the trades. Mm. He has been saying there's going to be a pump from the kids if you – Shell yeah. out some vets. Can we check the tape on that? Yeah. That uh, Rhett has said they're going to, okay, Jack's on it for sure. Mm. Yeah. Um, no, I think it's a, the, it's a tip of the cap to the leadership group, the coach, the veterans here. And the players. Well, that's what I mean. I, I, the leadership group meaning like your veterans, it, it's Kadri and Huberto and Backlund and Coleman, Weger and Andrew. Like those are your guys that they, they were here for those two, seven and one start for that shitty 10 games. And they could have just said, well, this is fucked. I'm going to ask out. And some guys did, like Sidorov, yeah. who's he you? And you knew there was going to be some drama around whose contracts were expiring, but they haven't quit. They've worked their tails off. They, they show up and outwork opponents a lot of nights. And there's the, tra the whole trade stuff. You know you're about a week away from potentially having two huge pieces of your defense taken Your second out, pair. Right? They don't look like a team that's rattled by trade talk or that, no, one of their good friends is going to be leaving town. They're just playing. They're just playing. They're playing well. The goalie was great again. <laughs> yeah. There has to, you interrupting, but uh, Huska has to be praised for big time, right? Like uh, maybe he's completely out of it. Maybe it's all Backlund and Anderson and the leadership group. Maybe it's all the leadership group. I doubt it, but maybe my thoughts would be Huska. I don't know what he's doing to make them perform that way, mm -hmm. but they're, they bought he's doing something right. Yeah, I agree. They've bought into something he's selling or they've bought into being a group and which is even better yeah. Then, as a coach. You're like, perfect. Take yeah. care of yourselves. 
You're going to show up more? Absolutely. Yeah. The, but if you move Markstrom, that all changes. Well, and I just – he's had a lot of opportunities to bury guys that haven't played well and performed well, especially at that 10-game start. And you watched what Pascal Vincent did in Columbus, and it was like guns a-blazing, this isn't good enough, benching kids, publicly embarrassing guys, you're in the rafters, calling out vets. Huskis had a pretty similar script at points, has done none of that. He's taken the high road. You know, before Kuzmenko got sick, whoa, it, whoa, whoa, whoa. before he got sick, they had that game where they swapped him and Hunt, basically. And Hunt went up to the top line or the skill line, whatever you want to call it. And Kuzmenko went and played fourth line minutes. And I think he topped out at like almost 12 minutes in the night, like season low total since he's come to Calgary. And he said, no, we just were looking for a different mix. Like that would have been a chance where it's like, he wasn't working hard enough without the puck. He needs to work harder. It's like, he didn't make it an issue. And he did the same thing with Huberto when he was awful in the fall. I mean, there's been lots of nights where he could have aerated this crew and he's been very professional about it. He's not taking cheap shots. And, you know, Daryl's a great coach, but that was one of the areas where you're like, why are you doing this publicly? You don't have to aerate these guys. You don't have to make a scene about Jacob Pelche playing his first game in the NHL, pretend you don't know his number. It's boring for us, though. I right? was going to say, there's, there's yeah. another side to that. I mean, we don't get to play. I should the content. I think you took a shit clip. Boy, we yeah. don't have that. Thanks a lot, Huska. Yeah. But again, that's exactly what he's not doing, yeah. saying a guy's taking a shit when he's on the training table. Have you noticed that Kuzmenkov mm, has right. been worse since we stopped calling him? Who's man, Kov. Tough to make an impact when he doesn't play. So, uh, yeah. I know, and in fairness, some of us haven't stopped calling Ill him. again. I'm not saying even before he was getting benched. You guys laid down the law. We can't call him Kuzmenkov mm. and uh, mm -hmm. production. Well, okay. I, you know what? There's, there's, we should make a shirt that just says Kuzmenkov and I'll wear it because that's all I'll clearly wear it to the Kipper stuff. No one's named yeah. Kuzmenkov that can be offended. I'm, by that. That's yeah. true. Well, we should finish this. Oh, go ahead. I'm worried about what to wear. There's got to be some leader that everyone's taking cues from. Like, you don't you just text Iggy and say, what are you wearing? Or Connie, like, what are you wearing? Like, you follow your leadership group, no? I know, but Iggy and Conroy in a nice, high-end suit and sharp in their suits that fit. And me in a... <laughs> You're so Buffalo now. You got, like, sweatpants. I don't like, even... I, I don't even know that I could put a suit on that's in my closet. Yeah. Like, it's... It's not... And if I do get it on, it's yes, very disheveled, and it don't fit right. What did you bring? Nothing. You didn't bring suit. Oh, I guess you have a closet. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't bring your suit yeah. to Buffalo. No. I think I'm just going to go in. And, I'm going to wear a Kippersoft jersey. I got a Warner jersey if you want. You can. Was it? Was it's it self Stefan Yell or was it Corbet? Yeah. Who was Corbet. You? Corbet. Reginald. Self, self jersey. Yeah. The Reginald. You see the business? I, oh, I'm here? excited. I know what's yeah, going this on. This is uh, special delivery. Okay. okay. And the fellas will be getting together, I imagine, next couple nights. You well, said there's a Friday have, event. You can't really share stories sitting on the ice at the dome. So, yeah, we've got to get together. Absolutely. Some Spend some time, quality time. Front door or back door? What are we doing here? Uh, back door, yep. two people. So I'll be going. Need two people? Two people need to go. Jacko's yeah. going to come with me. Now or we're we in take a break or whatever we want to do. Oh, I mean, we'll just, what is... I'll keep going. You guys catch up here. Jack and I will go get the gear. Yeah. Go to two shot, Jackal. Aussie doesn't want to give us any time off. Guess not. It's all right. So what are you going to wear? So the flames are great. Yeah, flames are great. Kings suck. We should try and get that couple of their guys, man. They what? don't seem to want to trade anymore. No, I don't it's think weird so. Weird how teams don't want to trade their good players. Yeah, they want to keep those Except guys. us. The flames are all in about trading their best players. I fear what will happen, though, when you do trade away your, your, your second pair D. It's not a tip. It's not a, it's not a normal strategy to just. Yeah. And a very good, a very good second pair. Yeah, because we talked about that. Oh, you can make a trade. They're not going to have to play shorthanded. Somebody's going to go in there and play. They're going to fill that spot. They'll be just, hey, look what Lindholm left. And they've been just fine. Just fine. I feel like that's a bigger well, you know, and to also, compensate. Another thing that you haven't we don't discuss yep. and it doesn't matter is that they've actually lost another defenseman so it's three defensemen that were kind of right you know, yeah Zadorov because they never really replaced him although yeah. Pahal came in by Pahal's the way like Pahal. yeah. Pahal's I don't like Pahal Gib, Gibby get out get out there what about Conroy brought in Greer it's a great ad it's too bad he's injured Paul's been just fine Sharon Govich deals worked out 
people seem to be fairly happy with the Lindholm deal. Sharon Golgich and the... is he going to be strutting around this weekend? I think so. Yeah, I think there's a lot of arrogance to him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that yeah, too. That's his style. Yeah, I get that too for sure. Especially when he gets together with his buddy. Well, the two of them can. Yeah. So are they going to be? Uh, the two of them could smile you to death. Yeah. Is it going to be like slapstick? They'll be like, "Hey, give me those ribs, you. Hey, hey." Or are they going to get into it and start fighting and arguing? How does that going to go? I don't know. I'm going to put up a Christmas tree and see if yeah, see if they, see get if the two they of them to tear into it. I think you could probably be a bit of a shit disturber there to get them going, digging sure up something do. from back in the day that you know still might rub one of them the wrong way. Yeah. Remember when? Yeah. Well, hey, it's not like that time when this happened, and then just kind of let it go and let it go from there. I am very curious for next week, the stories, because all of you are very excited to see each other. It's been years for a lot of you that's, that you've seen each other. Just to see now with a lot more miles on the chassis and years gone by, just what kind of partying is yeah, going to we'll be happening. see how wild it gets. Yeah. Eh? Ooh, look out. We're going to tear this town, look, nail down Ooh. the furniture, because we're getting at it. I'm tired. <laughs> Get a cab? <laughs> Did you get an Uber? I'm gonna hop into you share share the Uber. That'd be great. But it, uh, I said this yesterday with uh, with Kent. I like this one, the the Kiprasov retirement jersey going up. When Aginla was retired, of course, of course, it was they were gonna retire his number. He was going to the Hall of Fame, first ballot, all all this. In a, in a lot of ways, I think around the league there will be fans that may not remember Kiprasov playing. They might find it was. Or retire his number really hey eh? and they have to go and kind of google and see what kind of a career he had this is very much for the fans who were flames fans in that pocket in that only. era yeah. right yeah. no one else really i think is going to give a shit about no. you know what it's like last year ryan miller yeah i, I think what ryan miller's jersey's going to the hmm. yeah and then you google and you're like oh okay maybe yeah so i think it'd be very similar the people that know and are from Calgary and followed the flames and especially in that era are like, yeah, the best of the mm -hmm. best yeah, uh, for, for a while. So, but it won't be a global thing. No, nope. it'd be a lot of people that raised Ivor. Like, well, can't believe how they're, they're raising that Jersey. Yeah, it's that's interesting. Weird. We're in Calgary. They'll be, yeah, of course they were. And Kent brought up a point. He was of the, of the age where he was living through, the years of not close to playoffs, oh. nothing. And then, of course, you, but also Kiprasov got traded here, and then the fortunes changed in a hurry, and it was playoffs, and it was the deep run, and it was exciting hockey. So it was that stark contrast, I think, too, which is why people have grown to love the guy yeah. over the course of the year, years. And it's amazing that he doesn't never – it wasn't his personality. Well, that's – His sense of everyone, humor – Everyone, yes and no. I think you're right. Like he's not Lanny, yeah, or Jerome. That you know, yeah, has that. I am the community feel. He's, but I think the people that followed him and understand him and got old are like, he's that edgy, uh, behind the scenes joke. Like, I, I, I don't know. I, I, it's hard to describe, but I think people like his personality. Because he wasn't that guy. He's a bit of a mystery to people, but they all heard stories kind of behind the scenes. Oh, he liked to have fun, eh? Oh, yeah, he liked to have fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, he used to. Yeah. And he was still that good. Oh, yeah, he'd go have fun. He's still yeah. that good, right? Like, oh, but he was really serious. Yeah, he was really serious about yeah. it. Like, yeah. Oh, but I thought he was a fun guy. He was a fun guy, but he was, <laughs> he was very serious. It's yeah. like Batman. Yeah. It's like very dark and mysterious, but. Uh... He was really good. Yeah, he really good. So it, it's going to be a fun one. Um, Ryan had the numbers there. They're going to – the game is at what time? And they've got – The game's at 8, and I think the ceremony was – I don't want to screw it up. Six of them. Yeah, yeah, just after 6. Doors open at 5 or something? The doors open at 5. The ceremony Ooh. 6 something. Crowd will be – I think it's great. And I heard the Kipper's going to buy everyone in the stands a beer, so that's awesome. That's not accurate. Do not uh, do not go to the dome. Somebody Expect tweeted that out. I mean, I don't no, don't tweet it out. Don't do it for sure. Um, so what is I'm not looking for you to give away your plans or whatever, but I know you guys will be coordinating and stuff. What's what are these days going to look like? I honestly haven't a clue. Yeah. I mean, I knew when it was. I knew when I was coming back. 
flew back. I'm here. I'm reachable. Yeah. I will, I'll be available for any and all activities. I'm reachable. Peter Hanlon called to make a special request that I show up for the Friday, more of the formal, mm -hmm. I think, luncheon type of thing. So, yeah. That'll be nice. It'll be great. It'll be very nice for you. But I got to find something to wear. That right. I forgot about the formal lunch, and you can't really. Tracksuit. Oh. Can I get a Flames tracksuit? Oh, totally. You yeah. just like the, one of the assistant coaches. I should just walk around with a Warner jersey on the whole two weeks that I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> Telling you, I got one. Just sit. Rent it out for a very it. reasonable rate. Yeah. Food stains, beer all over Big it. Big fan, yeah. 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 For the yeah. price of dry cleaning, you can have my Warner jersey for a week. Is it up there? No, I took it home. All right. Um, I get you to sign it. That's it. Yeah. We have a. Uh, we've had a delivery. This is one of those things that's not be. You won't need to open that because I can explain I to you what's in there. I saw pictures too. Um, Greg Keller from Bonton Meats. He has made a special delivery. These I have think... happened a few times over the years. And when I say a few, it's way more than a few. Back at the old place, food would show up. We've been here. when, And it seems like whenever we're here, it's a special occasion because A, we're all in the same room, and B, Greg sends food. Mm. There's usually like a four. There's like the four majors. You've got Canadian Thanksgiving, American Thanksgiving, last show before Christmas, and Rhett's birthday. Those are your staples for the monster fest, uh, food yeah. fest from Greg. Now... There was an attempt made by the shoveler to get you a special birthday gift, which proved to be a little Feudal. more difficult than, than I first thought. Getting meat products across the border tends to be tricky, I guess. Um, so what you have Unattended in front... Unattended meat. Yeah, it's just border. some random meat going across the border. Um, so there is the birthday gift from the shoveler and the boys. To big big daddy, I see there. Big pop a pump. Big, big pop a pump. Now you don't need to open it, but I I think I have a photo, Jack. I put it into the drive of what's in that box, so you can leave it's nicely uh, sealed okay, and it's easy to yeah. And with the I've got that it's butcher like a, paper and the, the string. Douglas so mattress. Great. You don't want to. So great. Yeah, I know. Someone's got good handwriting too. That, yeah, is, that is I know. Nice. Well done. Great penmanship. Yeah. It's not me. You ever tried to handwrite? I had to write something this morning. It was Cursive? Awful. Can't do it. it Cursive? Awful. Cannot do it. I'm printing at best. So from Bonton, we've got uh, some food has showed up, the uh, oh, potato salad. and We should just cut this. Some ribs. Yeah. yeah. See you tomorrow, break. buddies. It's uh, been a great show. <laughs> now we need a break. I yeah. love it. Um, there is no picture. He can't find it. Oh, it's coming in there. Just, just got to. Uh, but again, now tomorrow, ask Rhett for Bonton Meats. Get your questions in. Okay. Email address is ask rep at flamesnation.ca we'll get into that oh yeah i gotta get guys to come in shoot how many fellows uh special guests you're talking about yeah if i can get some guys well because because we will have noodles in the show does he want to come in studio or no is he I tied up noodles to bring the star of the show he's very hard to tie down i, I that would be an star. absolute bonanza if you did that right i realize that but yeah, he's the kind of guy who's like It'd be the hardest thing. It's to really do. nice for you to have an absolute bonanza. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I don't care. No, I, that's... are you taking me fishing? Yeah. Oh, oh well then. Well, we'll take a gimla then, right? <laughs> yeah, just whatever that's you right. can do. <laughs> whatever you want to do. Uh, so that'll be that'll be tomorrow. But there is what's in. Uh... <laughs> Maybe I should have the fellas over. I mean, you got a barbecue, and that now I have, have to share. Meat. Look at that spread. I was going to say that's the only thing is. So there's two tomahawks there, mm -hmm. and then we've got some fillets, baseball ribeyes, some baseball ribeyes. Oh, and those which are, your, are faves, your favorites? Right? Oh, baby, playing the hits, Greg. Well done. Thank you, sir. God, that's a lot of great meat there. That's, wow. I mean, you don't deserve it. Yeah, I don't. Not really. Really? Like, no. You don't. Mm -mm. Now, there's something along the way, Greg believes he's earned this. Maybe it was uh, the, the, all the hooking and holding in the neutral zone in the late 90s. He I don't did know. love the can openers. Yeah. He was a big fan. He hated Bertuzzi. Oh, jeez. <laughs> he really? He must have hated that signing because he was straight shit when he got here, too. <laughs> Just neutral zone turnovers all season. I would think maybe half of that there goes to the open. You can, you can dessert. A couple steaks, nice tomahawk. 
Yeah, one of each of those. Yeah, one row of each is you've earned, Rhett. The rest is just, that's good. That's great. Come on, bludgeon, stuff showing off. There's Greg. a bludgeon of beef there. I could bludgeon some. <laughs> the bludgeon of beef. Bonk, bonk, bonk. bonk. That is. <laughs> uh, the package, right? Man. That is a good is right there. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll read that in a bit. I think we've kind of covered the game last night. They uh, there's some other things that we will talk about. We'll we'll say is thank that you. Five to, in a row. Uh, no it's four. four. Saturday will be five if they don't get the Mike Smith campfire behind the net to ruin the evening. McLeod Law, Shane King, a partner in the litigation and dispute resolution group, specializing in areas like employee rights. Being laid off or terminated can be difficult. It can be hard, and Shane can review your situation for you. Make sure that you've been treated fairly. And as the law requires, using a practical approach and plain language, not legal jargon. These are honest and good people who are ready to work for you. McLeod law.com. Little opening statements there for the, uh, the good folks over there. Um, Igor Sharon Govich gets the game winner. Good to see. He can really shoot it still. Um, and I had said when he makes the move, because I think last night was the 10th game post Lindholm. trade. So his 10th game since he's moved. It's all-star break, right? Yeah. And remember, he was on a nice tear yep. offensively before, before that one. Well, six uh, and six, I think, somewhere in December. He was just an absolute house of blaze. Started the year with a goal and an assist in his first 10 games. A lot of fourth line duty around there. Yeah. the lineup. And now has a goal and three assists in the most recent 10 games yeah. as at center. Yeah. So pedestrian numbers. But you take the games in the middle, 18 goals and 32 points in 29 games. And I think uh, you tip your cap for the hard work he's done at center ice. Um, if you had a better option at center ice, I think he's still maybe not a point per game, but flirting with that on the wing. Like he showed you a lot of tools. Um, he, he's just the shot volume's way down since he moved to center. Yeah. And I think that's probably that, that's going to happen. But I don't get the sense there was any pouting. No. So I'm just, whatever you need me to do. The other thing is, is he's a free agent next summer, so you can extend him this summer at a lower number with the depressed numbers of him playing center ice. Potentially. Hmm. Not that they'd want to sign him anyway. They would, right. but if he had a 35-goal season versus 26. So are you saying numbers, this is... No, this is, this is saying, part of the Conroy genius that we've been talking about. This, this could be a galaxy brain thing. The checkers, not chess, but uh, yeah, so ch chess, not chess. But more, more likely, it's that he's been a really good soldier, and they might be able to lock him in on a bit of a deal this summer because he's he's gone off the point per game pace considerably, as you've noted, since moving to center ice. Yeah. And I'm not sure that you know the the agents oblivious to that and want a case to build. But fact is, he's. He was tracking to be a 30 goal guy. And now he's kind of not. So. And there's no guarantee that he's going to be a center next year, year after. It's you don't just, want him to be, is my point. Right? Yeah. Like he's done, he's worked hard at it, but it's not what he's best at. He's yeah. best at the wing, as we've seen. I just mean for him to sign, it's not like you're signing up where you you're expecting to now be a center for the rest no, of the year. No, God, no. Yeah. It's just you've you've been a good soldier. And look, here's a deal. They got two deals to make in the next 10 days here, whatever it is, nine days. Um, would anyone be surprised if they found a way to get a young center back and he can go back to the wing? I wouldn't. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying it's like an 80% chance, but it's something Connie's prioritized. We talked to them when we were in Toronto. Was, I want to find a center in that like 22 to 24 year old age range. Like, yeah, you do. What are they going to end up with? Two more first would be amazing. I don't know. I wouldn't. You did your thing yesterday and went through those first, the, that first round of, I forget what year. 2018. Yeah. I was like, something I'm missing there. And then you have the Pasternak at 24, and you're like, that's one of the best 10 players in the game. Oh, I mean, there's always picks. They just need to hit. It's, but my point is more, yes, the first-round picks tend to have a better chance, but wherever you're picking, you better do a good job. Yep. It's No question. And the other thing is, look, maybe you have – okay, so they got one for Lindholm. Let's say they find a way to get two more firsts, whether it's Hannafin, Tanev, whatever. How are they getting two firsts? Because Connie's holding up for a late first for Tanev, so maybe someone pays the, the fee. Okay, can I interrupt you? It's going to turn into a – it's a second-round pick, Plus. but if they get past the second round, yeah. it's a first. I'm selling you the best-case scenario. It is you are, yeah. Yeah, and that would be like Dallas loses a, a D-man in the next week, and they're like, shit, we gotta, we'll gotta, we pay the price. A late first it is. And to be fair, like a second plus a prospect and a first, I mean, those are not anyway, way off. Sorry. So if you get one for Tanev, one for Hannafin, you've already got one for Lindholm, you have your next – 
two picks, whether it's Florida's or your own that you send to Montreal next year. That's five first rounders in the next two years. Let's call it four if you want to be more conservative. You don't have to use those all in players. You can be the week of the draft and go to a team that flamed out and sold their pick at the deadline and didn't have a great year and say, you're in cap trouble. Like, we're going to take that guy off your hands and this player, and here's pick number 24. I feel like it's going to be another one of those scenarios where there might be initial, the, the return is going to be underwhelming. You're just going to need to give it time. Yeah, obviously, which was that the Sharon Govich, which deal, goes with, exactly, yeah. which goes without saying, of course, you're, if it's futures, you're going to have to give it time. But I think that especially here where you realize draft picks aren't always aren't always great and trades that you think aren't great. Sometimes they do turn out the Sharon Govich thing is the prime example and the mm -hmm. most recent example. I just I, I do think I, I don't think there's two firsts. I think it probably does end up being a second and something for for Tanev should get a first in that uh Hannaford package, unless you're targeting a young player. Yeah. Maybe it's both if you could do really well. So it's, but you were, you were kind of like preparing for the worst of the Lindholm trade was as well. How would you rate that trade? Well, I'm, right now it looks great. Yeah. And, and there could be nothing there. I mean, Rustevich maybe is a quad A guy that runs your power play in the American. But we League. Maybe the first turns into nothing. And Kuzmenko, I mean, still very much an unknown quad, but you like the initial return of five pieces. You got but five the reasons things. that I, that I was apprehensive, as I told you, it was just the PTSD from the past. Just the, I still think that's what's factoring on no, other stuff. No, what I'm saying here is we're hearing a lot about Hannafin. They've gone back to the well a number of times to sign him because the offers haven't been great. They were they were mm -hmm. awful last summer. They were borderline insulting offers, like yeah. two thirds for Noah Hannafin insulting I, in the off season. And I think that's pushing a new GM. I think that's a big part of it too. And I think he's gone back a couple of times to get this guy signed because you're, the, the, are we going to take less? Are we going to take nothing in a trade? Well, we can't. We can't that's just lose the him problem for nothing. that Conroy's in is that they know he's still in a tough spot with Hannafin. Hannafin's leaving, right? Yeah. He is uh, not going to resign here and he, where he signs next year remains a question mark. He's still a very valuable rental. And there are teams that need left shot D that do have assets. I, but you have to acknowledge that it's not just – if it was that easy, it'd be done. Well, I, I think it's not about easy or hard. It's about trying to get max value, and I think the next 10 days is but where that's you see the it. Right? We're we're getting getting worse. I mean, and yeah. I guess what difference does it make? Max value if, – if max value is a first-round pick? Yeah, or, or a first-plus. That's plus what two it things. is. But like, that's what he's setting yeah, up. And I'm the, not trying to be an insider, but it's just – it sounds like maybe be prepared. Yeah, and Frank's for, been saying that. For the hand of – Oddly, the, the Tanev deal, there are more teams involved. That's the easier trade to make yep. than the Hannafin deal for whatever reason. I still also think the Hannafin deal will bring you quite a bit more, or substantially more than the Tanev deal. He's a better player. We'll He's see. Younger. Like, I would be stunned if you got less for Hannafin than Tanev, but I do understand the point well, that you, it's... You just said significantly more, so you... So, yeah, I don't know the right word to use. He'll, they'll get more for Hannafin than Tanev because he's a better player. Right. And so maybe he goes somewhere he doesn't resign. He's still an immensely valuable rental because of everything the Flames want to resign him for. Big minutes, career year, super durable, plays against top talent. Like, I think he's established himself this year as a hard number two in this league. Do you think there's a chance that there isn't an offer that includes a first round pick for Noah Hannafin? We don't, I, I would guess no. I got, think so crazy. here's where we get, we get stuck with uh, catastrophizing everything. Well, so one of us does, yes. <laughs> but just put your GM hat on when you're the other team. If you're, well, I, don't, I don't even know who's in the run. Uh, New Jersey. Oh, we need this guy. Yeah. Like, we want to go on a run here. We're trying to. Dallas, we're Vegas, trying to Boston. Yeah. Tampa. Like, the, right? Like. It's not that GM's job is not about putting the screws to Conroy in the last spring. It was, yes, we want Hannah, yeah. but I'm going to absolutely put the screws to you right now. No that, deals, yeah. That's not going to be the focus of other GMs. They may realize Hannah, they it's 50 50 whether Hannah can resign with them mm -hmm. and maybe they don't give a shit. Right. But right now, we're trying to win a Stanley Cup and we need. Depth on D, this guy's the best available. We got to pay for it. I think at Tampa, like they don't have their first till 2026. But if you took their 2026 first and one of their top two prospects, like is that more or less than you'd be anticipating right now? All I'm saying is more, more I, or less. I've been told to be prepared for an underwhelming re return. So then it would be more or less than I think it, it, that's why I'm asking. 
if if there's not a first, there has to like where where is the where do you see the line? I'm at. I would be okay without a first. Totally, just because has to be a good I, young player. Right? That's exactly it. And I'd almost turn it around and just say that I don't want your first. You keep your damn first. Give me your best I young want, player. I want the guy that you drafted first. Yeah in the first round two years ago because i know what yeah, he is I, I can see where he's tracking i my my ability to be uh, have a bust in my hand yep. is much lower when i'm dealing with exactly. a 20 year old not a 17 year old i've got enough picks i don't need yeah. more of this shit and, and uh, uh, that, that's totally it and, and the front offices are smart they're not trying to compare like pineapples to shopping carts like it's they will have a value of a player and say what this is a first rounder slot 25 to 30 this is a player producing at x in this league which is more valuable, they'll know. It doesn't have to be a first. Absolutely not. Yeah. Uh, but if it's going to be a straight futures deal, absolutely get a first. I would actually think that the, I, I brought it up to Frank and it was kind of, it's, it's not one of those things. There's so many moving pieces, but with the situation the Flames are in, winning four in a row, still kind of being within striking distance, they might be more inclined to want to get a player. Agreed. They might be more inclined. Like, if they could serve the two masters of make playoff, imagine? get money, and turn over the roster and get younger, that is the absolute home run in the owner's eyes. I know for many of us, it's good a top five pick, but for the owner, if he gets to put another ten million bucks in his coffers from a home series, well, I mean, you'd have to bottom up pretty hard. Yeah, I mean, it, it would for it's me. It's a Markstrom. Deal. It's a Markstrom deal for me. That that yeah. it's the only way it happens because if they don't get saves, you could see it. Otherwise, right. no. but that's good. But it's going to be a full crater if that's the correct right. Yeah. No, the most likely outcome is this team finishing somewhere between 16th and 21st in the NHL. And that's so that's your pick slot upside down. Yeah. So, you know, if that's the case and you're like, well, shit, we're going to be picking 14 to 16 anyway. Well, why don't we get a young defenseman that's maybe on the shelf this year or not fitting in? Like I go back to the Bowen Byram thing. It's not that player. It's that type of player. Yeah. They they have a, every team in the league. They know who those guys are. They're not slotted properly because they're too deep. Contenders don't have room for these guys. You well, know, it's like the Dallas, the rumored Dallas, Ty Delandria and whatever else. Now, Ty Delandria was a first-round pick, was he not? A couple of years. On the World Junior team, but his numbers from a year ago have kind of gone down. It feels underwhelming to me. I don't like that, and I saw that in a, t a second plus him for Tanov, and I think that's sort of more reasonable. But Delandria profiles as like a bottom six center. I, right? I, I don't see a huge need there. So if we're talking Hannafin, it's got to be much more than that if it's a young player. Um, and, and look, Lindholm was having a shitty year and we learned wasn't a driver and can be a good player when he's surrounded by good players. He got you a first, a prospect having a monster year, a second conditional pick that could turn out to be a third, another defensive prospect, and a roster player. But remember, if the you're league, trying to team me up for remember, like a way, the league consensus was that was an overpay. Everybody said Vancouver really paid And hard. the league consensus is the deadline is where you get the most overpays. I, but, someone will overpay for Hannafin is, is the hope, right? But just to, to put a, a bit of a sidebar in there, it, it's consensus overpay at this moment. That trade might turn out to be shit. Yeah. There could be nothing. Oh, yeah. you so, might, your yeah. third, fourth round pick could be end up nothing. Kuzmenko could be end up nothing. Yep. And your first round pick could, could be you, 30 to 32. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it's easy at this point, as with all these things, to have an opinion on it. But you have no idea down the road what it's really going to turn out to be. My only thought is, if you're telling me that the consensus amongst NHL GMs would be that Lindholm's a more valuable yeah. piece to add to a team this time of year, I just would push back on that. And I know it's complicated with Hannafin and maybe Rutherford got his work done early and the price for doing right. that was a way higher fee. But I just think a comparable return to Lindholm would be a reasonable expectation. But that, that, what, the other thing you got to say is that that's just, just what we talked about. That's a GM deciding, I'm trying to win right now. Yes. Our team's damn good and we have a chance to win. So yeah, I don't care about the third round. Pick. Sure, take Who this prospect who's not going to help me. Yeah, yeah. this is not... So that it's going to be that you need the same situation to happen for the Hannafin yeah. deal. And I see myself on the other side. I said this to Kent last night. If I'm Fitzgerald in New Jersey and I'm watching my team, that's a pretty good team. Yeah. Need saves night after night. What? There's a goalie who looks elite, who's actually both. available and would wave to come here. Up through in the year. This thing. Take everything I've got. Well, so then I got him got, for this year and, and next year and the year after. And they've got plenty of youth already. 
I just like you always want the youth, but there does have to be a point where it's got to go for this. Like unless Conroy needs four first rounders yeah, or Conroy might be trying to put the screws to Fitzgerald. Maybe. Maybe that's what it might be. That might be the holdup on that deal. I think Connie's trying to do that on all these deals. Like you could have had Tana for a second plus ages ago. But if you trying to get that late first, if you were if you were Fitzgerald in New Jersey and the price was two firsts and the Holtz kid. That seems heavy, but yeah. I'd still fucking do it. Yeah. It's a goaltender for three, essentially three years. I've got Hughes. I've got I've got a great young team, and now I've got an elite goalie. That's all they're missing, really. I mean, that and a healthy Dougie Hamilton, and he'll be healthy next year. I, I just think that the time they should have done it was the time they were talking. And since then, they've gone 500, and they've had four games where their goalies have allowed four, five, or six, six yeah, you goals. you had eight more points. So, like, you, you can win half those losses with, with, like, it feels like now they're that far back where it's like, we're going to punt this till June. Because, what are they, seven back of the wild card yeah. now? Jersey? I guess I'm just seven like, back. Oh, God. Yeah, I guess I'm just talking in terms of but that that's player an, being I, I available. I agree with you. I agree that's with you. an overplay by Conroy, though. I, th- it, I didn't think the package was that big. I think it, the Holtz was the centerpiece. And but what he, it was is, it, as we've all read and we know, it was the salary retention. Yes. So you got to pay a first at least for the salary. That might have been what they are asked for, yeah. And then you need a first. And But and, if you end up with none of that, with Markstrom, I guess it doesn't matter. You can trade them in the offseason. Yeah. There's other teams, but but you had a team that was probably as excited to get Markstrom as anyone yeah. for all the reasons that you just said. And now they're seven or eight points out, and now they're going. Devils won last night. They're five back, and they have games in hand on Tampa. That's more close than I thought. I don't think it's no. The deal may be dead, but I don't think their playoff hopes are dead. No, it's just that w- you if you going to risk. <laughs> all those assets and not make the playoffs. Yeah. The funny thing is too, that the salary retention killed this thing because no one's swimming in cap space amongst playoff contenders more than Jersey. They got 9 million in cap space. And the flames are willing to do it. All the components were there for New Jersey. Yeah. How did you not get this deal done? Yeah. And then we don't know what the parts were in there, but the Holtz kid is the exact type of player. Connie's going to be targeting. He's 21. He's like 11th in ice time amongst their forward group. He's not playing it. He's eighth in power play minutes for forwards. And he's a guy that scored at every level and was a seventh overall pick. Like he's pedigree that is stuck under their depth chart. That's yeah. how you got Sharon Govich. And, and this guy's younger and maybe toolsier. Like that's exactly the type of player that you, they're going to be targeting in all these deals, especially given what you've talked about a bunch, which is the nature of late first rounders is it could be a coin toss on whether you get a player, never mind a good player. It, I do you do you bottom out and then that pick that you've given to Calgary this year and next year is a lotto pick and now you've got Tim Stutzla getting drafted you know it, so that's but, that's why I think the Tampa 2026 pick is interesting because that's their next first the Tampa loses Sergachev they're in the last wild card Julian Brisebois has been pushing chips for years I don't know why it stopped now he's still got Stamkos he's still got Hedman Kucherov's having a monster year. it's still Vasilevsky and net points having another big year like no one would be surprised if they made hay as a wild card team in the playoffs they're already pot committed screw the future bleep them picks that 2026 might be the point in time where Stamkos is up this summer there's some other deals that are off the books. Maybe your goalie's not elite anymore. Hedman's 33. Well, I'm probably that Breeze- could be a high pick in 2026. You're right, but that's pr- probably Breezebois reading those tea leaves too. I, but what, what are we never gonna- cared about it? So that's my point. But everyone's a year older now, right? Everything's advanced by a year. He he's probably going to need that 2026 first more than anybody with where that team is going to be by then, potentially. Yeah, I chance. just see it's the I, window now. I don't think he's quit on the window yet. Okay. So what, so what are you be- most uh, market? What are you loss? getting? Hannafin? Yeah. It'd be that first plus uh, one of the... So now you don't have a pick till 2027 in round one, potentially. Unless you trade someone. Remember, it doesn't just... The the, the trade world doesn't end that you can't recover. And that's what I said about New Jersey. We'll get some picks back. It's not like the the, the ability to deal ends with the Markstrom deal if we get him. We'll continue to position and jockey and find a way to get some picks here and there. The difference between Tampa and Jersey is that Jersey's got a top five system in the league. They've been doing really well, and they picked high for a while. There's a lot of good young players. Tampa's one of the worst systems in the league, right? And that's why that 2026, I think, is in play. It's the only asset other teams really want. There's a college kid that may or may not sign that's their best prospect. What? Like, No. Talk to Shorty. Is that what it is? Yeah. 
Well, shake, give his head a shake. What the hell is he doing over there? The the demand won't go away in June either. It's a shitty, shitty free agent crop uh, crop this summer for goalies, and someone's going to have their season end at the hands of poor goaltending in the playoffs and say, "Screw it, I should have paid what Connie was asking." Mm -hmm. Uh, service credit union. It's the service big share. It's back the sixth year and your chance to win a million dollars just by saving money. Anyone can enter by becoming a member and saving with service. Every $500 save gives you five entries into the service big share contest. Transfer your existing savings to service for chances to win a million bucks. Ooh, contest ends April 30th, 2024 skill test required for rules. Visit service.ca slash win. And while we're kind of in the, and then we'll move on. We'll get away from this. But uh, our buddy Nick Alberga with uh, Leafs Morning Take, he was tweeting away last night. Big save, Nick. I do like – he must he must stays up very late watching hockey. He's always got an opinion about different games here and there. And he He's a nocturnal a, animal. He very, very yeah. much is. Uh, here was one of his tweets from last night as uh, he was – obviously, you know, Leafs are playing. He's watching the game. Uh, Connor Brown and Jacob Markstrom have the same number of goals, assists, and points this season with five. <laughs> Think about that. One of them is going to make $3.2 million to not work for a team next year. That signing is so Mark, idiotic. Markstrom? No, I Salary retention? Is, is that uh, what you're talking about? It's Connor Brown's 10 games played bonus that they let him get to after watching nine games of this shit. What a colossal waste of almost all the cap growth next year. I didn't, and at the time, it's, okay, well, it's another it's another ad. Maybe it works out. Good, decent player. Have liked, has li have liked his career up to this point. I don't know what's going on. Missed a year. No. Injuries, no good. So Markstrom, offensive juggernaut. That's the other thing. He does move Fitzgerald ball. that you're getting. That's right. You're getting some points here. That's right. Man. And I dare say you need that. Uh, and then another one that he had here, the because uh, we saw the highlights we were watching before. Record since the Lindholm trade. Canucks five five and two. Flames seven and three. Well, yeah. So who's winning? Who's winning now? I'll tell you what. I'd be afraid to pick up the phone and call Craig Conroy. Yeah, he's Maybe that's what it is. Jeez, Trepidation, Dean. Right? It's gone the full 180. Let's put the screws to this Mr. Nice Guy, this newbie in Calgary. Mm -hmm. Now they're seeing, what is this? 403 off. Not answering that shit. Who was that uh, Russian chess master that played Deep Blue? Like Kasparov, Gary Kasparov. That's what Connie's now oh, become. They're calling him Connie Kasparov. Yeah. Playing chess? Yeah. He's. They've got the little phone uh the folk it's like the jaws theme whenever conroy phones oh, it's conroy again God damn it i need that d just circle he's gonna screw me just circling us here. You're not gonna step uh well let's we put the uh ah, i'll do it later it's not a big deal we talked enough about trades let's get to the uh the pinder report it's a presentation of village honda honda honda, honda. West no. Auto Mall. It's Village Honda. The 2024 Honda Accord, redesigned last year, chosen by Car and Driver Magazine as the number one mid-sized sedan. One of the most reliable vehicles on the road is now better than ever. Superior ride quality, reliability, and impressive fuel economy thanks to the EXL Hybrid. It's the Accord. Check out that and more at the Northwest Auto Mall at your dealership for life. Village Honda. It Rah, presents the uh, panda. Rah, panda. Rah, panda. Now, would it be offside for Rhett and I to eat while you're doing this? I or? thought about it. <laughs> as long as, like, the thing is, the pinder port usually has a few spit take, turn your stomach things. So, absolutely, get in there. Which one? Do you think it's going to be the Cobra? Which one's going to get him? I think it's the Cobra. Let's start the pinder report with a little taste of afterburner. Last night, it was Dino and Kent Wilson, the old godfather of Flames Nation. Let's have a listen to their thoughts on the. Another Flames victory, make it four in a row. Markstrom so great at the start of that third period. I don't know how that bounce goes off the end boards and then straight out and Fiala yeah. nearly tucks it in. And then there's a goal mouth scramble. He's everything for this team and has been all season long. If it was the Markstrom of last year, this year, they're lottery picking. Yeah, <laughs> he's got some of the best numbers in the league. So it's too bad that this yeah. is happening at this point in this team sort of arc, right? Because they needed this just slightly a little, little earlier. Right? If you're in New Jersey and you're watching Nico Dawes, and you know that this goalie is available. I don't know how I would not get a deal done if I'm Tom Fitzgerald. What do you want from me? Here, yeah. take my money, please. 
because goalies change everything. Yeah, I really want to hear the backstory because it, it does sound like there was smoke to that fire, right? But mm -hmm. it just didn't happen. So who said no? What was the tripping up point? Because it seems like such a perfect natural fit for this situation. Uh, the Devils have a very good team, and that's the sure. one major issue that they have. Good stuff on Markstrom there uh, from Dean and Kent. This good to be seen and heard by my co-workers. Let's go to the standings. The wild card view looks like this. King's still holding wild card one, but uh, the suddenly hot Nashville Predators oh are tied God. in points. Oh my God. They just opened the ribs, I think. That's the uh, everyone's Ooh. okay here. Happy sounds, not sad sounds. <laughs> Nashville's won six in a row. The Flames, a bit of a heater, but uh, we'll tell you they haven't made up a lot of ground. Here's the schedule for March. They are done with Feb. We'll tell you about Feb. Let's uh, go to March. There we are. Busy month. 15 games. Holy shit. No, 13. What am I? I'm good to the math. Four, 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 13, four. A lot of games, guys. A lot of games. Starts on Saturday with Mika Knight. Then it is the Seattle Kraken on a Monday. Last night was the first of a stretch of seven home games out of 10. Lots of dome action coming at you. As for the chase for that wild card, with the Flames now winning four in a row, let's have a look at what that's done for them in the standings as uh, our boy Jimmy Johns, James Johnson. On Feb 18th, the Flames were five points out of a playoff spot. They then won four in a row. Three of those teams are on back-to-backs. And now, on Feb 27th, nine days later, they are five points out of a playoff spot. You know, the exact same. Mm -hmm. A little bit frustrating. Uh, Dino, you love the Marty Pospisil stat in and out of the lineup? I do. It's a large sample. It is not to be debated. He's a difference maker. Hold on uh, tightly here. Make sure you're seated. All right. I'm uh, sitting. Your, your tray tables and seat backs in the upright locked. and locked position. Yep. Because there's someone even more impactful than Marty Pospisil, and you didn't see it coming. Come on. Uh, let's have a look. This is a uh, Julian bomb, as Julian McKenzie. Aside from the Rangers game where he played 30 seconds, the Flames have won every single game Jacob Pelche's lined up in this season. Heart trophy. I mean, how could you give it to anyone else? <laughs> I mean, Pelch. He's batting a thousand. I know. Not for that stinking Truba. And he had a help you know him on the dasher. Kent brought him up last night. Felt like last night was. You, you saw him for kind of the first yes. time. Had that chance in the first period. Mm -hmm. Maybe if he's got a little bit more patience, he kind of tucks it in there, but good to see him back. He's got Boy. pace. I've really liked that fourth line lately. Considering they lost an entire fourth line, Dubé, Rizicka, and Greer. Uh, uh, Walker, dude! Getting back into it. Good to see. That boy, Walker. Rooney's been good. He's running into people. He's doing some penalty killing. And if Pelche wants to showcase that speed a little more, I don't think anyone's going to be fighting him on that. Uh, we had a pike bomb today. Let's oh, go yeah. to the pike bomb. What a month of Feb it was for the Calgary Flames. Uh, very good if you like, you know, seven and three mark. Seven different game-winning goal scorers. Every skater who dressed in for more than one game had a point. Cadre and Huberto over a point per game with 12 and 11 points respectively. Markstrom a sparkling 921, six and two, under two and a half goals against, and three helpers. Can we keep this leap month thing going? That's they they, they like the twenty nine day months apparently. How about February? What a month! Eh? Huberto, a point per game, better than impressive. Tonight, let's look at the slate. What do we got? Well, it's uh, two games plus no Flames games, Dean. So two in total. Two in total. There it is. Uh, it is the Rick Nash Bowl, Columbus and uh, the Rangers. Anyone else that would be a bowl for? Derek Broussard, maybe. Boy, that's mm. deep cut. So that's Panarin. Cool. Panarin Bowl. Hmm. 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 Uh, and the Oilers will host the Blues. Panarin. Was he a Blue Am I smoking the crock? Blue Jacket. Hmm. Google it. He, that was the trade deadline? While I eat. No, I believe you. I'm just Google it. I'm having a moment here. It's like right. doing math live on the air. Blues and Oilers, that will be of note in the Western Conference and standings as St. Louis, you had noted suddenly on a bit of a skid. If, well couple wins in their last lost four or five yeah after winning five of seven something like that they run a bit of a heater they ain't anymore Nah. want you to watch this we don't do a lot of hoops Rhett, but uh, the the hoopsters were hooping last night i think this is the cleveland cavaliers uh they allow a bucket late and that looks to be the final nail in the coffin Cleveland has the 
Good hit by Mobley, but Dodgers gets it back. Dodgers dumps inside Washington, puts it in. Two seconds left. The Cavs are out of time. one. They have to go 94 go. feet. Struess from midcourt. Oh! <laughs> do you believe it. this? Whoa! That's how you uh, walk them off. Feet. A second left from the wrong side of midcourt. Swish. Dean, you're our hooping expert. Uh, walk us through that. Well, as, uh, as you're watching here, you, you don't want to turn the ball over there. No. Especially late. Yeah. You can't give it up. How can you do that? And then you watch. This is pretty routine play, actually. Struess. You can't let him shoot from there. David Struess. David Struess. Got to cover Struess, especially in his own half. You know what? I'm sad. I was cheering for Dallas because my kid's trainer in Buffalo went to Dallas and was hanging out with Big Dirk. No way. He fixed fixed old Dirk's feet. Come he's on. Got the bad, he's got bad hoofs. Bad hoofs. Really? Had to uh, adjust that shit. He's got the German goat. It's I, the worst. Apparently, that's the thing with the uh, basketball players. Hey, eh? big tall guys. Oh, didn't you the, see uh, LeBron's feet the other yeah, day? Yeah. Oh, God. Shaq's got Not bad, good. awful feet. Yeah. Hoof rot. Still get you. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, this potato salad is un. Still, hey, they don't miss on it that. It feels up. like it's like a 50 50 bacon potato mix That's right a now. Very nice ratio. God, they killer. know us. That's got to be double or triple bacon. Thank you, Greg. Calvary FC was in Orlando yesterday, that 4 p.m. mountain kickoff against. Oh, boy. They're not as good as Orlando City, boys. We've seen mm -hmm. it twice, and Orlando scored three in each. They did get a tally. Proud of you, fellas. Meyer good. Bevan, good work. Yeah, Come on back, work. dominate Keep the CPL. Working. We yeah. love you. Coaching rep. Yeah, what do you say? Uh, no, I think that guy's pretty dialed. <laughs> <laughs> Not going down that uh, path again? Nope. It was like when we were in uh, the same fantasy football league as Bo Levi Mitchell, and yeah. within seconds of losing the Grey Cup on a heartbreaking pick six, um, Rhett said, yeah, Bo, you went for the glory. The moment he got traded from St. Peter's, like he immediately left the group chat. Okay. It was awkward. Cavs are uh, back on home turf late April. They start their season at Echo Field. They'll start on the road for a couple, which, you know, Tell April and Calgary, good idea. Tell me it wasn't true. He's a jersey signed on the wall here. Oh, sorry. Do not iterate his name in this market. Mm. Didn't he feel like a guy? Sorry, I'm interrupting the Pinner report, but no, that's good. didn't Bo feel like a guy that was going to hang out here? For I him? think he still will. Really? I mean, he's got the spread in Chestermere. He's living that dreamy life. <laughs> yes, that's worse than me. No, it's not. He had that's a huge spread in Buffalo. He's got the oh, he's on got the, the lake. Spread and he's, he's, uh, he's on the Hamilton. lake. Yeah, I mean, he's in the hammer. He's got to make some money, but he'll here's do some what it's TV gonna be work after. He'll come to Calgary. I was gonna, but here's what who's he gonna work for? Uh, yeah, the three letter TSN. Yeah, where'd he be if you're TSN? You can do it from Hamilton, Hamilton, Toronto area, whatever it is. Yeah, he's not gonna, he's you know, there's a lot of lakes there too. There are. If you're going to be doing panel work, which he's going to be doing, you got to yeah. be in Toronto for it. So close to the sundown or two. That's nice. It's a good spot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's go. It's a good spot. Yeah. Now, but here's the thing. Does Bo know about the skiing out there? It is nowhere near. We will put you any ski, ski resort in Western Canada up against the, the best. Shits. There. They were golfing. Can't ski in February. You got to golf. Look it's at this. Brutal. This is, this is the kind of stuff they're missing. Out there. I mean, this could be Bo just having a great day. Out there. <laughs> oh, those skis that came off not, That's not how you do the half pipe. <laughs> it's not how you do that. It's not flat light either. Look, it's blue skies. No, it's There's really no excuse there. Yeah. It's a tight turn. <laughs> it just caught an edge, I guess. I mean, you're good. You're good. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, he's got the camera on the helmet, too, so he'll be able to relive that one. Don't have to forget that anytime soon. Yeah. You might not remember it, to be fair. Now, do you think maybe take a video? I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to jump this. or something. Yeah. yeah, that was not a jump. No, it was not good. Uh, let's go to a little BMX biking. Now, if you get the right incline on a hill, you can go off all kinds of heights on your bike. It's just got to land on the downhill, right? Oh, let's go, Alex! Let's go, Alex! No, let's go! The hospital! Yeah, it is swinging there. Oh, hospital. He's calling for it, Dean. He knew. You do know when it happens. You do. I've yeah. been there. Scampy, it's broke. I broke my leg. You know it. It's there's no mistaking, and you know it. So kids these days, to, they get know. on the social medias, they'll do something crazy to get clicks. Kids, Maybe it's yeah. jumping off the second floor on your bike. Maybe it's finding a moldy corner on the cob to have a little bite out of. It's just one bite, you'll spit it out. It won't be a problem. We'll go viral. I'm not watching. Getting clicks, not gonna be a problem. 
What? what? Taking my like corn on the cob. Why am I nervous? <laughs> that's not moldy. That's. <coughs> yeah, that's Jack. That's going in your lungs. That's not good. Sorry, Dean. Not to fright you having lunch there. Let's go to uh, more skateboarding. Uh, what the hell's the matter with X Sports, X Games? So someone built a skate park right next to a train track, Dean. What do you think about that? Oh. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> A driver almost, uh, yeah, woo, the, little the, tra pee. the train driver has <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing it takes a long time to slow that thing down because he would get out and beat the tar out of that kid. Yeah, that guy's an Albuquerque before that thing slowed down to a stop. That was close. Um, now you once gifted your kids a, a young puppy, a pet, and there really is something about own. a child's first pet before you stole it from them and, and left it at Dean's front door, rang the doorbell, and ran. Pets are a very normal thing to get kids, right? It's a good gift for kids. Great gift. <laughs> this one, I mean, it, it, it's a bit of a show. Why here. are you? Why? Yeah. Is that thing you seen it? It's a great pet. Just flip it open. It's already unzipped. Oh. What? No, no you're, close flip it. Already open. Open. Just flip the top open. Okay, flip it open. What the fuck? That's not <laughs> a baby, oh, look at that. Oh, petty. Mm -mm. Pet him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's bad parenting? Yeah. No shit. Bro, giving the dog away is nothing compared to getting rabies from the raccoon. Yeah, you're gonna need a tetanus shot for sure after that one. That's a cute little guy. Have who, you seen raccoons? They're nasty petite? little pricks. Oh, yeah. who does that? I think we, because we don't have raccoons in this part of the world, we don't realize how many. hated they are. Yeah, they're they are yeah. vicious. They are the kangaroos of the. Yes, worse. But Northeast. they're sneaky because they will lull you in. They're cutesy enough. They're very cute. Yes. They're cute. Yeah. And they are they can be, hey, look, oh, you rub my bell. Oh, yeah, you're having fun. And then it's like, oh, jug juggler bait. Yeah. There it is. Rick. Uh, it's not bill season, but that doesn't mean we don't stop practicing our technique on table folding. It's a big thing with Bill's mafia. Gotta get it right. Yeah. Now this guy catches a toe here. Watch the foot. I did. Two, oh. One. Oh. <laughs> That's what everything's good until he goes to leave the roof. He does catch he catches the toe. What are right you doing, there. Grandpa? Commit. Oh. How did that table break? Well, and I was gonna get mad at him for spilling the drinks, but everyone knows he's coming down on the table. Mm. Like those drinks are already wounded soldiers. They're done. Is that a glass top? I thought that, that was plastic. Was it just the spills? It just, spillage? Let's watch it. I'm again. just looking at the reflection on the yeah. on the table. No. No, it's a plastic and there's just Spillyville here. Oh, maybe it's got that plastic cover. It does? Eh. No. It's, nah, it's Spilly. Okay, so, so it's just there. Yeah, a bunch of pigs. Dean, do you want to watch this one? I promised you uh, what, no more rats. So this does not involve rats. It does involve a massive cobra. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh yeah. Oh, oh dear. Those uh, fangs, there's a lot of them. The uh there's Jack. layers. Jack. <laughs> Notice nobody's helping him. Yes. I if this you. was a legal case, <laughs> you're complicit. You're, you're you're going to jail. <laughs> You're driving the car. You're guilty by association. He's got the mask on and has the money, the dollar sign bags full of money. You're driving the car. You think you're innocent. You're not. This is my and getaway it, driver. It's interesting because we don't have a cam on Jack. And it's good. <laughs> yeah. But Jack. now that we're here, we can see his shit eating grin. Yeah, yeah he's taking the, great the, the, yeah. joy in all of it. Yeah, I got a better cum. one. I've got a palate cleanser. Imagine this dude. I think he's Ozzy. The Aussies have the most fun, don't they? They're just animals. Like you look at Ozzy Brad, you're like, that guy's living with a lot. This guy's living. Pet parrot. Look what he's got him doing. Let's fucking get it. Who's <laughs> <laughs> having a better day than that guy? He's got a parrot. Opens beers for him. In a way, I'm. I feel bad for people who are just listening, <laughs> but they're so much better off for 90% yeah, of what's going on. You're going to miss some good ones. That's a bird popping the top off of a beer bottle. 
Do you do the spin when you chug? I don't because I that's don't. to make it happen quicker. I Otherwise, you get bubble, chug. bubble, bubble, and foamy. If you get the typhoon going in there, that's the fastest way for li- liquid eggs in a bottle. That's uh, the University of Lethbridge. <laughs> so, so, now the comprehensive. There are people that just listen. <laughs> yeah, it is. It was, it's current comprehensive. Yeah. We need that clip. Yeah. Right? We might have to. <laughs> that was the Jets. Who do we know who that was? Lowry, that was Lowry yeah. Oh, it was lousy. Oh, he went hey, lousy. Uh, Played for the Bro- the Broncos. Very good, very good. That's your boy. You love that. There's a guy to go. I get. used to body oh, slam that. He's kid. such a good. How much term left on that deal? Bring him home. Come on. No, he'll They're be a career. That's that'll yeah, be his no, thing. They never would. Just a great kid. Now this one's beautiful because even the listeners won't need to see it. But I will paint the picture before it starts. There is a tattooed fifty year old Aussie male trying to get directions to a hotel in Surfers Paradise, which is just sort of below Byron Bay, mm-hmm. South Brisbane. Gold Coast, beautiful part. And Siri's having a tough time giving him directions. He's lost his cool. Bit of a potty mouth. We think this might be Ozzy Brad's dad. Let's have a listen. Directions. Fucking stupid bitch. <laughs> hey, Siri, you deaf cunt. Directions to the Hilton <laughs> Surface Paradise. Now you fucking get it. One possibility is Hilton mm-hmm. Surface Paradise Hotel. Yes, you fuck with. Or could have it in the Paradise. Yes. Do you want that one? Yes, you stupid bitch. That's not nice. Fuck off. <laughs> that's how you get to the hotel. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Siri took offense to that. I didn't realize. I didn't know Siri. I didn't know. Yeah. See, you can can't go be trusted. Siri. AI's coming. You have those speakers in your house. They're listening Just all the time. Doing her job. Jeez, her fault. Your accent's so thick. Huh. Yeah. Um. Going See, through your gotta, notes, are you? Is well, that what you're doing? I mean, this one, the, the last one is heartwarming. So we just got to power through this one to get to the next one. This is, again, Jack, why are the people, what is this called? I haven't seen this. What's the I, clip called? Crocodile. That's part of your, because <laughs> you know what? That's what we need to do. We need to have the list of the names of the files. Yes. Because half of them make you laugh. This is called Croc Swing. <laughs> Now, again, you made a great point the other day. These crocodiles are never bothering the people. They're no. buying their own business. Oh, yes. Look at this asset putting on a show. The Gator Crusader here. Croc swing. And look at it. He's, he's messing around. He's got a little island there. Croc swing. And he's teasing him with his feet. He's being featured here. He is. <laughs> he deserved it. I'm sorry. He yeah, did. He did. That prick. Got what he deserved. That's like the discount, uh, you know, Backwoods version of that. Uh, oh, look at this one. She's gorgeous. Remember the, uh, mm-hmm. what's his name? Steve Irwin. Yes. Yeah. Love Steve Irwin. God he would him. never have waved his shoes at the gators like that. No, no respect. He, he got to respect those animals. Now, kangaroos have got a bad name on this show because we're only showing the bad shit. But imagine if the kangaroos only saw videos of like hardened criminal humans. Uh-huh. You'd think everyone was just an asshole, that all humans were bad, wouldn't you? Mm-hmm. See, with the right parenting, look at what can happen to a kangaroo. We were just kids when we fell oh, a little baby there. You know, he's covered in dirt. A oh, little milk for baby. Gross. They're weird at first. Is yeah. that a Joey? Is that the Yeah, a little Joey. What does the Joey hide in? The mama? The pouch. And so what do they do? You got a little pouch for him. A little marsupial. A little dipe on him? Yeah. Weird. Now they always gotta go. Where oh, the hoodie? that's nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. I want one now. So. Yeah, yeah, see, Brett would leave one of these on your door. No, so oh, come on. Who couldn't like a kangaroo? Crackers, just like us. Dude. And look, there you go. Who wants to get in the pouch? Beautiful. Hey. Oh yeah. I mean, I, I can't enjoy it. I'm waiting for it. To and look, got a little pouch. Looks like a pouch here. Oh. Oh, and growing up. No, I, I kept all up grown watching. Up. What? Nothing's I know it's coming. Nothing. Just love, Dean. And reports not always vilifying kangaroos. This big, dumb animal. That's it. They grow those claws. <laughs> Tear your... Scratch on the windows. <laughs> Tear your intestines out. I need money for drugs. <laughs> oh. That's a pin report, Dean. I'm really growing to hate the Pinder Report. I know. I'm enjoying that. I used to really enjoy it. It was fun. Yeah. 
there used to be a lot of sports talk. We'd have some sports talk and then some funny hoo-ha. That's great, Ryan. Mm-hmm. Some fun clips. And now it's just he's an algorithm. You know what it was is there was a, a guy said to me, you know, why don't you just make the Pinder report the dumb shit? Never mind the boring sports right, stuff. Yeah. That was you. It so. was me. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> well, careful what we wish for, Dino. I didn't say gross, vile. But that's shit. that's what gets the best response right. from you. Village Honda, Northwest Auto Mall, huge selection of pre-owned vehicles, all makes, all models, all budgets. So over 90 units on site, access to more than 500 more Achoo. in the dealership group. Make Village Honda your one-stop automotive destination. Go and see them today. Cold weather out there. This is when you test drive. That's if it's nice out. Oh, it's pretty good on dry pavement. Well, yeah. I think so, yeah. That's most vehicles, right? Yeah. And it's also the time of year that you're like, hmm. I didn't know if the car was going to make it through the winter. And guess what? Didn't. didn't. Yeah. And we told you. It's a tough time Jeez. to find out. That is tough. VillageHonda.com. Uh, I also have some videos. All right. Mm. Yeah. Just a couple of things. Um, well, we'll start. We were kind of doing the Aussie thing. Mm. Uh, don't go fishing with Aussies. Mm. Don't do it. Okay. This is a group of... Uh, of Australian buddies, they have their own Instagram. They're they're constantly screwing around Always. on each other. Yeah, it's like high school till you die. It's crazy. So this is uh, an Aussie phys- fishing trip. These are the mates. Get some tunes pumping or something. Ah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sorry, my knee, my knee. Holy <laughs> shit, he got one. No, I don't. Oh, dude, I'm seriously I haven't caught a fish in so long. Fuck oh! off. Being a male in Australia, it's like you join a fraternity for your life. It's not just four years. It was a safe spot. Oh my god, dude. The Mufasa throw. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Wait, man, is your phone? Yes, it's in my. <laughs> you better start oh, running. God. Sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! You gotta lather up, you don't wanna get a burn. I'm sorry! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jeez, it doesn't stop, does it? Look at the Sheila's. Aussie Sheila's not improved. What are you up to later? I was trying to impress them. That's how he's Old got. birds. What are you on? And a bit of meth, too. Just a touch of meth. Jeez. You know what? Aussie Brad wouldn't put up with that shit. He'd have no time. He's up for a good, a good time having some drinks. Don't be throwing me in the water. Fun not... F around. That's the F around. Find, find out. out yeah. yeah. A lot of that on the uh, socials yesterday. Thank you. Uh, you always bug me about having ramps. Yes. Which I have not had for years. Can you explain what ramps are, please? Uh, it's well, it'll be self-explanatory in this video. You, if say you're going to change your oil or do some work underneath, you can put your, Get you can the jack hood. the car up and oh, put yeah. them on jack stands, or they are ramps that you can put in front of your front tires. And then you slowly drive up Yeah. and then stop. When you're on the very top so of the run there and work about, eh? Let's see how this goes. Yeah. Let's get the gloves. Make sure it looks official. All right, straight and easy. Give it a little juice, don't you? Ah! Yeah! Back up! I see where this is going. You've got, you're hanging off the edge. You gotta back up. I don't, I can't take my foot off the gas when I do. Give it gas. At the same time that I won the brake? Yeah, and then as you're giving it gas, let off the brake. I'm so scared. Mm hmm. Why'd you keep going? I didn't mean to. I can't see anything. I don't know what to do. I'm so scared right now. I can, I don't have a jack. You gotta back up. Isn't it going to go forward before it goes back? Not if you're giving it gas while it's in reverse. Yes. And let off the brake. What? Okay, what happens if when I let off the brake and I'm giving it gas backwards, I go back too fast? Will anything happen to You're going to go off the ramp. And that's fine. Okay. 
Well, she worked it out. She's got it figured out. Ah! Oh, no. I, I don't understand why people use ramps. <laughs> I'm glad you got rid of those ramps, dude. That's <laughs> why I got rid of my ramps. Yeah. Sorry, sweetie. Okay. I don't know what that accent is. It it feels like there's some Summer kind of southern. It does. Yeah, there's something. There's a twang to it. Yeah, it doesn't it feel is. totally. It's like there's they were in lived in Pittsburgh and then moved to Alabama, Alabama yeah. or something in there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and finally, for uh, for our friend who is from Buffalo, hmm. Josh Allen, quarterback of the Bills, mm -hmm. loves to golf. And loves to loves to drink. He's got a little really? drinking game here that he'll explain. In on a game, hold it in your left hand for me. Okay. Never in your right. Sure. You All right. If you're holding your right, and I say Buffalo, you gotta finish. Josh, you gotta describe that. <laughs> I like that a lot. At any time. Mm-hmm. If it's in your right hand. At any point. Yes. This is how we're doing it. Double tequila transfusion. God help us. I feel like I'm gonna get banged up within a few holes, and yeah. I can live with that. You're the only one that's actually literally right there. I could have got you. You could have. Yeah. Yeah. See, I'm, I'm gonna ease you into it on So if you say buffalo and the person's holding the drink in the right hand, yeah, it's so, an automatic. So if I'm show. here and you buffalo me, is this a, gotta, is this a buffalo go. bills thing or is this no, just this a, is an old uh, college game from Josh? <laughs> How big are your hands? I was gonna ask you about yours. I like the last one because he goes for the high five with the left, puts the drink in and then realizes got me. You uh you got me. I thought I heard Josh was playing with Tiger the other day. Might have been. Yeah. I don't know if Tiger's playing that hand game, but he definitely likes golf. Uh, can't hurt. Can't hurt the game. Can't hurt. Uh, so, yeah, I thought about, uh, I've not seen the Buffalo. or Well, he says it's a college game, so he's adopted it in You've Buffalo. You've never played so. that? I've played that. The right hand? Get caught with the right hand? No, it's done. usually a rule you add to games. You can have that on or yeah. off or change yeah. the rule or you drink with your left hand, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. It's kind of like getting iced. I never understood necessarily. That one is a little weirder. Yeah. Just like, why? How did yeah. this start? Why? What are we doing here? Anyway, so there you have that. Uh, uh, he's looking good spirits. Is he dating again, Rep? Because you were saying the big key to him is. Oh, I think that he's got a lot. Well, I don't know if he's dating, but I'm sure. I hope he's like he's very his hands full. Yeah. eligible. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that there was a relationship that came to a sudden end. Yeah. And then there the, was a year ago. Is that what it was? More, and then there was a actress. Then that went that to the name. Mm -hmm. I think that sort of coincided with the midseason swoon. Remember they had to go on that heater to make the playoffs? Yeah. Yeah. End up winning the division. Yeah. Anyway, we'll keep us up to date. I know the I shoveler has it. tabs on that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. Let's keep us in the loop on that. Looking away in there. Gotcha. What was that? What is that noise? Yeah, that's uh, mm, heavy machinery. We need there. to cut your hair too, by the way. Yeah, it's kind of all over the map. It's here. Lame. Lame. You got to tight, uh, uh, yeah. tighten up the top. No, not the top, the sides. It's getting too long on the sides. I think so. All right. Be better. Taking their advisement. There's so much going on because it's puffy on the top, but you also kind of have like the Elvis rim. Like if you wanted to curl it over the top. Well, that hat hair. Remember, I was trying to get that going. And then the sides, but the sides are now kind of coming around on you. It's just slowly taking over, climbing out. <laughs> it is one. It is wild. Yeah, for sure. You're it's good a stupid bleeping mullet. I mean, you're good I'm at just it. Owning it. Yeah. Uh, Origin Brewing, our buddies out in Strathmore, originbrewing.ca. They have been, they've had this, this deal on for a while now and it continues. Now today is Wednesday. Tomorrow's delivery day. Now I don't know if our deal is still eligible, but I know tomorrow's delivery day. And I also know if you're in the neighborhood, they got a kitchen now. They had a food truck before. Now everything's in house and, uh, <laughs> ratcheting up quality. You don't have to have the paper plates disposable. The Origin Kitchen. Passing up. They're continuing to grow the brand, the company. Everything's getting bigger and better. The food menu available in the tap room. So now you can go in, you sit down, you enjoy your your homegrown or your, your barn burner one. Mm -hmm. you no, know, triple B. Maybe some nachos. It's like it's like they advised you on this menu. I was yeah, taking yeah. a look. They Risk got the nachos, too. the buffalo chicken dip, the big pig and the piglet uh, platter, mm -hmm. the smoke. So they've got the uh, the beef yeah. from Scotty Schiffner. No way. 
They've got the uh, the smoking, uh, getting the smoking meat. The Baldwin barbecue are taking care of that. These people. And associating with us as well. That's the Hiltons the have got it going on. The location, of course, of the, uh, the tap room is 60 Spruce Park Drive in Strathmore. The website, originbrewing.ca. They've been doing the deliveries, so you get it. It's five bucks. To Tomorrow's have delivery day. Get her going. Delivered to you. And I believe now today's the 28th, tomorrow 29th, till the end of the month. It was the uh, the special that they had. Good. Buy okay. three cans, get one free on the homegrown lager and the legal issues Scottish ale. The legal issues is apparently fantastic. I think I had one that one night, but it uh, have a fog going there. Is that right? Rave reviews. Fog. And uh, the name, as you imagined, hey, uh, we love this beer. You wouldn't, uh, we're thinking about calling it this. You'd be okay if we use that name. Absolutely. Two months later, ring, ring, uh, about that name. Oh, is that uh, right? Yeah. Uh, my name's Peter McGillicuddy. I'm yeah. representing the, uh, the the claimant here, and uh, we, we're going to see you in court if you use that. We're going to call it legal issues. How oh, really? That? So yeah. the, the people that we asked if it was cool, and they said it was cool, they're not cool now? They went and lawyered it. up. Yeah. That's great. So that's a funny start to that one. But uh, little, it's a sneakier one. It's not uh, one that you're going to find. Uh, like you know, the homegrown's almost everywhere now. It's a, but this is, you will not be disappointed. It can Let's scare people, Scottish Ale. It's delicious. The Barn Burner Blonde, you can see it over my, uh, right over top of my big dome there. The, uh, the Barn Burner Blonde in stores now. There again, you can go and check out uh, the website, originbrewing.ca. Here's a look at some of the locations where you can pick up some of that uh, Barn Burner Blonde yourself. Legacy, uh, legacy liquor. We got Stacy's liquor stuff. BK Beaufort. B I heard Mandy had a order of orders a few weeks ago. Is that right? He is swimming on stock and moving it. So if you want to get a huge amount of the triple B, it's up to BK Beaufort liquor and our board Mandy. We're proud of it. Hey, we had nothing to do with it. It was all the origin yeah. people that it's uh, better that way. Yeah. But it was their, it was their idea, their work. And uh, we're, we're happy with it. Oh, you got the cans look great. Yeah, yeah. Did the you guys? Beer's even better. Didn't yeah. Do it. yeah, didn't. Uh, no, we didn't touch did. the cans. They did it all. But, but did you make the beer? No, we definitely left it in their hands. Oh, and it's it. good. Yeah. Very good. Fifth generation family from out in Strathmore. They grow it. They malt it. They brew it. They serve it. They sell it. And I think I actually uh, sample it every once in a while. I think they actually do drink some of it. They deliver it to your door. They'll drink the stuff at the tap room, but they won't drink yours. They just yeah. bring it right to your doorstep. Awesome. And uh, someone was on the old uh, Twitter machines last night saying, what about Lethbridge? Well, you tell me, sir. Go into your liquor store. Tell them, as a wonderful customer, I'm sure you are, that you've heard rave reviews about this Barnburner Blonde from Origin Brewing. It's traveling. You look into getting that in there. We'll give you a little love. Hey, and you never know. Maybe maybe we end up in, down at Lethbridge to celebrate, do a little Barnburner Blonde party down there. Wouldn't be the worst idea. We had some people get it on tap somewhere. Might show up. Mm -hmm. Hey, Red Deer, mm -hmm. you want to get in? What's that place with the wet t-shirt night on Wednesdays? That uh, I think it's closed. Oh, damn. damn it. Top they'll top. come to Red Deer, oh, maybe. Uh, a little Betway bets. Betway bets of the day. Uh, two non-flame games tonight. Plus the, the not plus, plus, plus the no-flame game. Two equal to uh, two in total. Get the Betway app on your phone. Bet along. Bet the responsible way with Betway. Okay. Oilers, Blues on the ice tonight. You had mentioned just a few moments ago that the uh, the Blues kind of cooled off a little bit. Yeah, now it's like we're going to move Bushnevich, and that's not going to make him better. Yeah. Bennington's still a Richard. I don't know. Bouchard has had a – did you see what he's got, like, point per game? He's having a hell of a year. Like two against the Flames. Yeah. Right? A uh, power play point for Bouchard of the Oilers will get you 162 on the plus side. You saw that too, right? I think he's – what's he got? Five? Five power play, three in his last five. Anyway, he's on the power play. He's either. getting points. Uh, and then there's a, a kind of a pre-made bet. Yes, you go to the best way. Panarin, McDavid, because we know McDavid doesn't score goals now. It's just not in goals, goals, just helpers. Ten in a row without a goal. Different games, obviously, but for uh, both Panarin and McDavid to get an assist tonight is plus one ten. This little special there. I'm going uh, St. Louis Evans over both of my bets. I'm all over the Bush bombs. Plus one sixty two for one power play point, just like you saw. About that. It runs through him, and that's weird to say because you've got Dreisaitl and Hyman in the net front and McDavid, but like that point shot has been a big part about why it went at a like one and three clip last year, really catching fire in the second half of this year. I like the Bouchard power play point, and same thing like Saturday in Calgary. Yeah, he might just pass it to McDavid in his own zone and end up with another helper. Two points plus two sixty. 
Big game hunt. There you go. That is the uh, the Betway bets of the day for our gaming partner, the boys at Betway. Check out the app. Get involved. Bet the responsible way with Betway. Yep. We got a lot of food here. We do have a lot. Let's food. get going on. We got a lot of food. That here. is a mountain of potato salad. Good lord. Tomorrow on the program, we will do Ask Rhett. Get your questions in ahead of that. Obviously, you can email the show directly. Ask Rhett at FlamesNation.ca. Mm -hmm. I would guess there's a lot of people wondering about the boys and what they're doing and what's Hopefully happening. Some boys will be here. So yeah. I'm. I've. Got, I'm, there'll be questions. You don't. You, you can send them tomorrow. You can put them in the chat. You can send them now. I think it would be safe even to send an email now asking Red how his hangover is tomorrow. Kind of the preemptive. I think it's a safe bet. If you asked how is your hangover, Red, and sent the email today, I don't think it's going to age poorly at all. Well, you were out grabbing the Bonton order. Yeah. Uh, I had asked Red I, how much, because the plans are great. Yeah. Everyone's planning for a bit. We're getting after it. We haven't seen each other in 20 years. Mm-hmm. But they're 20 years older than they were 20 years ago. Yeah. Already the we can't go back to back comment has been a put is up that there. right? That was put out there. So that's disappointing. I mean, you can, you just have to get creative. Like you can't do the 15 drinks two nights in a row. You gotta change your equation. Can you do a day? Like a day drunk and then get through that night and then that's a, a great 36 yeah. hour, yeah. You know, yeah. kind of yeah, I like that. But it does no, unlike when we were younger. Stack them. Take some planners. Yeah. Kind of got to get to let your liver know. I would say you need some fun guys with you if you're going to try to stack. You've these. really gone sensational. You're a deplorable person. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah. Terrible human most of the time. I don't know if that makes me deplorable. I did stop doing the rat videos, at least for one day. I promised you forever. We'll see how long that lasts. Well, did you see the other guy that was in here? He's got him. Now he's a fun guy. Oh, he's a ton of fun. Maybe what we should do is do this instead. <laughs> Settle down, dude. Where was our first stop once we landed in Toronto? Oh, I know. <laughs> we we didn't even have our room keys at the hotel yet. Okay, so where is this There's place? How do we go? Three three blocks blocks where do we away. go for this? <laughs> Awful person. And you're no better, Jack. Oh, you really? Are. Bring Jack into this. Just sits back there like he's all innocent. Oh, I I I just puppet kinda... master. Did you see they might trade fields to Pittsburgh? It's every day. It I am innocent. Are you? Yes. Listen to him. What's the name of the segment? It's the Pinder Report. It's not the Jack Report. Who pushes play? It doesn't matter. I'm with Dean. What? You're driving the car. So I just tell, like, I'd, we're just not playing these videos? Like, are you not kind of the executive producer? Like, you, everything, like, runs through you. Jack, don't be. This You're the Evan Bouchard of this show. You got to drop some boosh bombs. You you're dropping too many boosh bombs. Maybe we need a jack report. You can uh, level the playing. Like, field. did it ever? Did it ever dawn to think? You know what, Ryan? Feels a bit offside. Which one would that be today? Which yeah, uh, which off. most? What the cobra that them? bit the guy's face? That was offside. Oh, I didn't watch it, so I don't know how <laughs> offside it was. <laughs> that, like, is, is there I mean, yeah, we've set the bar pretty high though, and I haven't been fired yet. Yeah, set it high or so low. Yeah, I guess. Low. What you got to do is you got to figure out where the line is. And sometimes you overstep the line to realize where the line is. And then you go back half a step and yeah. there they are. You got to bump it, into it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And then, you 12 know, days later, you're right back there again. Hey, listen, you got rid of rats this week. It's been a good week for you. Deep fried rats. Well, that was Gross. earlier in the week. Yeah, it's Wednesday. Uh, no message. There's, there's some other stuff, I guess, in that. Uh, I feel like tomorrow's show's got great potential. Hungover rat noodles potentially around. All these other I'm not gonna be hung over. donkeys uh, in no. tow. You're going to get a Siggy tomorrow and Kipper on set? Sounds great. Can't wait. So you do, you have an idea, I guess, but you don't know exactly who is coming back? I do not know who's all here. Well, I, I bet you I could do a list of 10. There's going to be like... Well, you'd have the local losers. Well, so we're gears in for sure. Sarge. Sarge for sure. Now, I was going it's to ask. weird, right? Because you, Iggy. there's a... There's such a long era of Kipper. Like he yeah. played with a lot of guys. We all think of 04, yeah. but there's yeah. another six years after. That, I was going right? to say, Sarich, he's not walking around the 04 crew. Yeah. Putts in. Rick was on the other side. And yeah. he was there the next season. That was the awkward part. The I problem with him is too season. nice. So it's hard to be upset with him. And he's not also Kipper. flashing his ring around. Yeah. If you wear that, you can. Such a bad idea. Serious move. He wouldn't do that. 
Like, are we, is there going to be a Glen Cross sighting? I would think so. Now, he's local as well. Mm -hmm. He's out in Bears, I believe. Stage? Stage for Stage. sure. Stage coach. Yeah. Well, again, um, none of these guys won we, anything. Two galoots. More galoots. More galoots. <laughs> uh, who else? Is Mason Raymond is in Cochrane. Cock Vegas, yeah. Uh, who are also some of the then you but then you've got like the 89 guys well yeah the hangar but they're not welcome right not uh, really so is there gonna Bernie, be Bernie will be around Bernie will be oh, around Hall of Famer place anytime you oh. like um now is there gonna be the sort of dozen people seated on the ice like it was for again the night I would imagine but I honestly you it, don't know yet they said are you coming I said yes they said great I think what they do is they are organized. They just don't oh, yeah. let the buffoon. Mm -hmm. well, just what like, it is is they show up 15 minutes early, like you're playing again, and we'll tell you what to do. They've dealt with hockey players. Yes, that's what they do. So it's like there's no sense. Just be here at this time, yeah. and we'll sort and of always fit, lie about the time. Yes, it's 15 to 30 minutes earlier yeah, than yeah, when yeah. really. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna get started about. Uh, be there at noon. Yeah. Yeah, it's about 3 p.m. 8 o'clock puck drop. Noon. Yeah, noon. I'm so sorry I'm late. It's one. Yeah, don't worry. We knew you'd be. <laughs> we're late. good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Noodle, um, of course, is coming in for big it. red. Oh, call me back. I'm guessing. I don't know. Yeah, makes yeah. sense if he was. I just wonder if some yeah, he kind only of played with them for three months, nine minutes. Yeah, <laughs> that is the weirdest thing about Commodore. Everyone identifies him with the Flames. He had more playoff games than regular season games, and it was like six months of his life. Yeah, and that's yeah. like how everyone remembers it. I'm not sure if there's another. I'm sure example sure of some that? market has that. No, but Commodore is beloved here. He's a flame. Barely played. And before that, he was an AHLer that no one really, yeah. you, you didn't know who he was. It was an, it's an incredible path. He's a hell of a guy. He's done it right. He's done it for sure. And yeah. continues to. That's maybe not right. See, for him, I feel like he's got the, he's the stamina the to continue to go. It's catching up. Not him. a married guy, it no is. kids. That makes a huge difference. But I think it's starting to catch up. Yeah. He is good at all that, all this. He's not a naturally super extroverted guy. He's just good at it. I would love to go, and I, I don't want to. I wouldn't want to be part of. You guys go and sit. Do you do your thing? I'm just going to sit and watch. Next table, and just see who's the first. Okay, twenty bucks. Who's first guy to smoke bomb? <laughs> who's the first guy out? And then kind of have your bingo card of yeah, like, yeah, how yeah. many. Okay, so he's gone. He's definitely gone. So now who's next? Mm -hmm. It's not going to be noodles. Donovan's got to be back for this, right? You think? Uh, Maybe. Know. Okay. Well, he's working too, isn't he? That's Is he just yeah, it. If okay. you're working, and I feel like we're going to get a tough guy sighting. If we get a Simon or a Oliwa, that'd be unbelievable. I feel those are longer shots, though. I feel like Noodles has got the Pinder gene. He's going. He's going to have a hard time missing. Oh, he's last man missing out. For sure. Yeah. yeah. They're still going, and I'm back at my hotel room. Uh, oh, he starts so. vibrating. He can't. Can't leave early. He's talked about playing hurt or whatever it is. I don't need a lot of sleep. He's been very boastful, really, about his ability to tie one on and then not. I appreciate his honesty, Dean. Yeah, and I don't, I don't like your tone. All right, using we'll see. Uh, was supposed to be on today. It was not on today. We expect he'll be on tomorrow. Uh, as far as the show tomorrow, it feels very kind of loosey goosey. Yeah, I mean, it, might be the best of all these hockey yeah, players should be. in town. Yeah, just leave should it. be loosey. Availability open. Maybe we should just set up a bar in here and just have the fellas circle in and out, stay as long as you want. This whole stuff happening outside is not going to help our cause. Probably not. Because if someone comes yeah, by and they see this, parking. I can't park. They're not driving. I don't know that tomorrow is a parking day. That might be a Uber they're not driving, driving anyway. They don't yeah. have vehicles. Yeah. Remember when they didn't let us say Uber on the old show? That was pretty funny. Yeah, that's right. Now, could you say ride share? Sure. Yeah, because no one knows about yeah, Uber. No, they just. <laughs> Which I wonder what they're talking well, about. Well, one of the cab companies is paying us not to say Uber. Okay. What the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> Do we get free cabs? Oh, we don't. Okay. So are we talking about the cab company? No, they just want you to not. Um, DoorDash. <laughs> you can order what you want from where you want, whenever you want it. Yeah. Uh, can I order a kipper? Shows right up at your door. With, uh, let me see. Restaurants, groceries, pharmacies, bakeries, kipper shops, flower shops. Yeah, yeah. There. He's in yeah. there. Yep. There's no winning goalies. Ordering's easy. Shows up at your door. And with Double Dash, you can order from multiple restaurants or stores in the same delivery without additional delivery fees. So everybody gets what they want and what they need. Oh, yeah. Uh, for DoorDash, and of course, we'll tell you about the deal, which continues. Nation 25 is the promo code. We'll get you 25% off and zero delivery fees on your first order of $15 or more on the DoorDash app. 
So with two games tonight, mm. what's on the menu for DoorDash? Well, we saw that incredible uh, hooping and diamond on the hard courts there. So we're going to open you up with a little NBA action between the Mavericks, who suffered that heartbreaking loss mm. against the Clevelands, in Toronto to take on the Raptors. Red is, again, part of the North. Good to have you back. Mm -hmm. Then it's a doubleheader on the ice. Five o'clock, we go to MSG, where it is the Blue Jackets and the Rangers. The winner gets to keep Rick Nash. Huge yeah. stakes. Then Blues and Oilers, if it's a battle between St. Louis and Edmonton, it's the battle of who? What do we, is there a good overlap there? Kind of got this Puck Doku on the brand. Like, who played for both those teams? Which two? Doug Waite, right? Blue Doug and an Oilers? Yeah, there. That's the Doug Waite Bowl. There you go. That's what's on the menu tonight. What are you ordering, Rhett? I don't know. It depends on who's got me and where I'm going. That's mm -hmm. kind of... It's getting loosey-goosey here. Yeah, I got it. Players get together. They just turn their brains off. Chris Pronger. Pronger. Marty Reasoner. Yeah. Great. Wow. Reasoner. Wow. Mm. Wayne Gretzky too. How about that one? Who else was it? were in those? Wayne with the Eric. Wayne I like those red blues jerseys. Wayne Gretzky, Wayne. Eric yeah. Brewer, because he was in the Pronger trade. Brew dog. Brew dog. That's right. Uh, are you? So that's it. What was on the menu? We got it. We got it. We're good. Dash that for the win with DoorDash. DoorDash. Good Double stuff. Do. Somebody came up with that idea, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. What we should do is because people are lazy. So yeah. what we can do is we'll just they can order. We'll bring it to them. Well, why don't... Yeah, but how are you going to make all those dishes? You don't know how to make all those... No, no, no. But the restaurants can do that themselves. Yeah, or we could do it. Better. And then just kind of... Yeah, our driver's out. Could we we have something available in two and a half... No. Mm. How about now? Yeah. Need some uh, need some ideas. There's an idea right there. Just like well, you can't use that one. Yeah, that so, one's taken just for the I record. think they'd have an issue if we just kind of... Well, I feel like... They're giving us money right now, and they're yeah. offering 25%. Yeah. I feel like... Undercutting their business. And they're the isn't? best at it. Well, there you go. Right. Some other some others are trying, but it's store dash, right? I know you're a big uh St. Patty's Day fan. Love St. Patty's Day. Big St. Patty's Day fan. Well, our buddies over at the Gray Eagle Resort and Casino, they are getting ready. March 17th, a day full of festivities. You kick things off. They've got the slot tournament. Ha bing 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 bing. Registration starts at two, tournament begins at three. Test your luck with amazing prizes. They've got the Irish-themed lunch buffet oh, from baby. 11 until 2.30. Irish-themed dinner buffet. That one runs from uh, 5 until 10 p.m. And then live music. You want to dance? You want to sing? Yeah. St. Uh, Patrick's Day. 8 till uh, till midnight. They've got the Morrissey's Private Stock Band. Does that sound like ready to roll? or what? Morrissey's Private Stock? Hell yeah. And uh, the green beer going to be flowing. Raise a glass, toast to the luck of the Irish. So make sure if you're looking for, you know, maybe you, you don't want to be tied into some, to, you want to do something, yeah, but we yeah. don't know if we could, I don't know if I can make 11 or if I can make two. There's something going on all day over at Gray Eagle. I just like that buffet Show till 10 up. p.m. You yeah. Like oh, baby. Gray Eagle Resort and Casino. Check them out online. Gray Eagle Resort and Casino. Dossier. Sunday. We're going to be there for an afterburner in March too. Coming up. Is it a Sunday? Night? Interesting. That's it. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Don't you own a uh, yeah, no, I, I, pub? I, yeah, it was part of the... That was quick after the uh, career came to an end. I was going to own a bar. Yeah, then the bar was quick to come to an end. Oh, well, see, he thought he could drink for free, but it's just the more he drank, the less booze there was to sell. So you actually were paying for it. It's just a tough thing to learn. It was learn a good idea at the way. time. An idea guy. Yeah, it was a good idea at the time. Good idea at the time. Not happy with Jack. We're not taking runs at Jack. I just, you know what? Now that I, I'm in here for the first time in a while, I'm just looking at his face and just seeing how little mm -hmm. responsibility he's taking for what's happening on this show. He goes and cleans up all the cords. Do you treat him like this? Heard you're coming today. You know what? Let's give him a rib and see if we can sit him down and have yeah. a little well, heart to heart. Yeah. Tat -tat -tat. Now he was talking to me. He's a little concerned about the quantity of food because he has very, very high hopes of a serious workout today. And he knows. Oh, well, you can't. He oh, yeah. knows. Can't it now. Beef ribs and potato salad. And there's a couch right here. Got some brownies and cake and cheesecake. What are you doing a workout? You got another show to do? Just dig in and shut up. That's right. Hey, work. That's what we're doing. Hall of Fame career over here. That's a t shirt. Dig in and shut up. <laughs> Barn burger. Uh, that'll do it. Tomorrow, who's to say? Yeah. We think Jamie McLennan. We think Rhett Warner. Mm. We think here. 
It has potential to be the best and or worst show of the year. Yeah, You're going to have to tune in to see which yeah. one it is. And probably both at any given time. Could be boozy. Could have a Hall of Famer. Who knows? Yeah, never know. Appreciate you, buddy. See you tomorrow.